It's not quite an 11th hour decision, but Joe Biden's announcement on social media that he would withdraw from the 2024 race reflects a reality that he's refused to accept, that a path to victory simply doesn't exist. Now, citing this to be in the best interest for the country, Biden said, well, he's out, he's not gone, and that he will remain in his job. He also threw his support via endorsement to his vice president, where a number of donors, lawmakers, and Democratic insiders had been circling their support in anticipation. But Harris is not a guaranteed successor, with the party's convention still weeks away and the race essentially being opened up to anyone who secures the right number of delegates. The advantage of that is it truly is a democratic process and you come out with ideally the strongest candidate. The disadvantage is the Democrats spend, what, two or three weeks trying to figure out who the candidate's going to be while the Republicans are unifying behind Trump. Now, Harris would likely be the only one who could inherit the party's campaign infrastructure and the 90-ish million dollars in the war chest, but Republicans have threatened lawsuits. The GOP and Donald Trump have increased attacks on the vice president in recent weeks, gearing up for a potential face-off arguing to its voters any Biden administration flaw is hers as much as it is his. And they're about to tell the American people a whole lot about Vice President Harris, none of which will be good. Uh, the, the Democrats have to pretty quickly uh, do a job of do their job of, of defining her in ways that are obviously favorable to the Democratic Party. Now, Biden's popularity has fallen to record lows and Trump leads in all battleground states. It's not clear whether Democrats can make up lost ground with no clear successor known, at least not yet. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.